Wait, how's it go again? A white sports coat and a pink incarnation? Hey gang, Jeff Stone here with day 35 of the year 2016 at magicreviewed.com. That's right, 35 days, 35, well, 45 videos-ish, you know, with the unboxings and the contests and the updates and the announcements and whatnot. Today, though, on day 35, the 35th review, Mark Oberon's Incarnation. All right. Let's break it down. Ninety nine ninety five. So hundred bucks, you get a system. We'll talk about that in depth. I promise. Let's break it down to the four the usual sp- suspects: effect, method, ad copy, product quality. Uh, first, what is the effect? There are three effects that are mentioned that are advertised. Effect number one is you imagine throwing a card at me that's folded up, and I catch it in midair. That's effect number one. Effect number two, this is on display either after you produce the card or just you start off with it like that. On display, he even includes a magnet that has um, sticky tape on the back so you can stick it to the underside of your lapel and just stick it right on your lapel right there. It'll stick right to the clip there. So, yeah, but anyway, effect two is that that's in plain view and then you have any card named Literally a free choice, as long as it's not a joker. The card it's named, and you reach over, remove it from the clip, unfold it, and it is the named card. Yes. Effect number three that they advertise is a card is selected, and then you have them imagine that they're writing their zodiac sign on. So I'm a Scorpio, so I'd be imagining writing a Scorpio across my freely selected four of hearts all in my head other than the selection process so um and then the trick would be that i reach over as a magician and i remove from the clip this card that's been in view the whole time and fold it it's a four of hearts and it says scorpio on it okay that's the three effects that you're getting those are the three effects that you are getting that you are getting not that you are getting Anywho, grammar and vocal, verbal slurs aside, that those are the effects. Let us move on to method. How does the method work? Well, it's two things, and Mo- 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 Mark Oberon has given me permission to maybe be a little bit more free with um, what's going on than, um, than you might think be able to have me do on other products so the first one i'll just tell you this this is a little this is um gimmick number one you get two gimmicks gimmick number one it's just a little bulldog clip that anytime you want poof a card appears very very clever that's thing one that it does thing two it's also a switching device right and so imagine if you are um you have a signed mercury folded card the switch would look something like this. And this would actually be, this is not the card that was in the clip. This would be your signed Mercury card. So that's, and now that's not one of the effects they're advertising, but I'm just giving you a sense of what you can do with this. So that's gimmick number one. Gimmick number two is this little notepad, and we will go into that in depth. But let me just show you this. Right before your very eyes, okay, I'm going to actually, uh, there we go. I did it very openly. You would not do it that openly in real life. But what I just did was stole from there this. This is an index, okay? Um, It's an index that allows you 64 outs. Yeah, but it's not 64 things in there. It's way less than that, okay? I'm not going to give you too many details about that. But it's an index that is easy to get to and to access and to be able to almost instantly have access to a named card or uh, the zodiac sign, which would be written across a four of hearts, okay? So that's pretty powerful stuff. Uh, you, it's, 
it, it, the system, again, it allows you to very easily um, get access to whatever they name. The method allows a lot of crazy things. Like he, he briefly covers some things. Um, and when we get into the product quality, I'll talk a little bit more in depth about these things. But um, it allows you to, um, as I said, this switching device. And of course, so the idea would be you've stolen this from the index. And then you reach over and you apparently pull it off the clip. And then you um, unfold it, which, sorry. Oh, I got to flip the wrong, the wrong way. Anyway, then you unfold it and show that it's, you know, whatever card that they're thinking of. Um, so that's the, how the two work together, right? So, um, that's the basic method. Well, let's talk real quick about ad copy integrity and then we'll move on to product quality where I go in more depth about some of the things you get and um, how they all work together with the method. So ad copy integrity, it's just, it's dead on. I mean, it's just totally solid. The, the claim that you can literally have any freely thought of card um, of, first of all, that it materializes, poof, like that. That's true. Second of all, that when you remove it from the clip and unfold it, it is a freely named card. And it, you just get it out of the index super fast, super easy. So ad copy solid. You know what the effects are. You know what the basic method are. It uses the notepad and the um, this thing. And then the notepad, just so you know, it fits nicely in a shirt pocket. Uh, it'll fit inside your breast coat pocket, probably, or whatever, uh, in your suit. Uh, probably it'll fit in your back pocket, whatever. Um, so, this, so let's talk in depth now about this. Let's move on to the final piece, product quality. Just the general things here. This is well made itself. This is a nice um, kind of a vinyl-y, plastic-y stuff um, that's going to last forever. When you open it up, you have, uh, we'll talk about all the stuff in here in a little bit, but you have these little, <laughs> for you folks that were around in the 70s, the photo corners for your photo albums, they're basically that's what these are. And it allows you to put some inserts into there. So right now you see I've got the Ace of Spades in there, and I've got the, the Zodiacs in there, but there's also just some blank paper you can put in there. There's this all 52 on one card. There's a queen of hearts. And then there's the other half of another card that's in there that we'll talk about in a minute. This is the binary thing, which in the written review, I mentioned to watch the, the video review for some clarity on that. Cause that's the one part where I felt he missed on the product quality, small part. I mean, production quality, it's so, so it's not like super awesome, but it's not horrible. It's plenty good to get what you need. Plenty good. Did Jeff just say that? It's it's well enough produced, produced well enough that you'll get what you need out of it. No problems there. And overall, except for one little exception, Mark did an incredible job of teaching everything you need to know. And this whole system, he thought of everything. He really did. I mean, this thing is very smart, very, very clever, very well put together, and very well taught. The only exception is the binary thing, which we'll cover that last, okay? So, the big question that you probably have is, well, what's the notepad have to do if I just say, have to do with me just saying name a card freely? So, he came up with several ways to justify the use of the notepad. One of them is simply this, name any card. And uh, I'm going to plug in my phone here because my battery thing just came on. Hang on a second, guys. All right, close that. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, so... So uh, one of the ways to justify uh, this is he says, okay, name any card. And let's say they, let's say you get lucky and they go ace of spades, right? You just flip it open and you say, yeah, I knew that, you know, whatever. Um, but obviously 51 out of 52 times, they're not going to name that card. And so you say, name any card. And they say, you know, um, what did I pull out a minute ago? The five of hearts or whatever. They say five of hearts. And, you, and at this point, you can steal the five hearts right now as you're doing this. And you say, you know, it's interesting. Most people say Ace of Spades. That's the most common card. I'm glad you didn't say that. That tells me a little bit about you. No pad goes away. You've now got the five of hearts um, secretly gotten it out. And then you just say, you know, 
the, again, I told you this tells me a little bit about you that you chose uh, the five of hearts. And see this clip that's been here the whole time stuck to my lapel. Believe it or not, and then you switch, do the switch, and you and you just and you say, uh, believe it or not, this uh, card on here is the five of hearts, and you unfold it and show that it's the five of hearts. So that's one way to justify the pad. And of course, instead of the ace of spades, just bump my camera, man. I'm having a rough production day today. Um, instead of the ace of spades, you can show the queen of hearts there instead of the ace of spades, whatever one you want to use. Um, also, so I'm going to take the ace out now. And underneath there is the other half of this binary thing, which we will cover last. Um, but let me tell you about this one. He often puts this one in here. It's just all 52 cards for two things. One, you can do the old gag, name any card, and you flip it over. And that it's, look, there's your card. It's, it's right there, right? And they're stealing out the, the index. Or he says when he has um, a, a language barrier, when there's people that don't, you know, he can't communicate with them. I guess he performs where, um, you know, in a mixed culture or whatever. Um, he uses this to have them point to the card. And so when they point to it, then he steals it out. And again, you can, you're can you not going to do it like right in their face, but it's very covered and it's pretty, you can do it in pretty uh, open situation without anybody seeing it. And so that's one of the things that he'll do with this. He mentioned several other things, of little gags and jokes you can write on the card, like, you know, your card when you flip it open. Believe it or not, it's your card right there. And then you, you're stealing the thing. Or you can use it to write something down. Uh, the other thing he uses it for is if he's doing the the um, Zodiac thing, sorry. Uh, this is here as a little, you know, cheat sheet for them, you know. I know I do know people that don't know their Zodiac sign. They don't, it's just they're not into that. They don't care. Um, I know mine just because it's a cool one. Scorpio, best one ever. Uh, anyway, so, but then you can just say, well, look, we're, find your birthday on there. What's your Zodiac sign? And so it's a justification for the pad. Um, once they, once they have it and you've already had the card selected, selected, um, and then you imagine them writing, they imagine them writing their Zodiac sign on the four of hearts, and then you're stealing that out of here. So lots of different things you can do with this. Okay. So let's talk about the binary thing. This is the one piece where I mentioned he didn't quite cover this as well. So because everything else was so awesome, I'm just going to explain it to you. Um, so you, there's two ways to use this binary system. If you don't know the binary system, I'm not going to teach it to you. I'm just going to tell you that it's, um, it's a way of getting information from people secretly. So there's two ways to do it. Where you, One way is to use both of these cards. And of course, this would be stuck in here under the corners. Might as well just do that. Okay, get in there. There we go. All right, so there's two ways of doing it. One way just uses this one card that you're looking at. The other way uses both cards, okay? In the video, he briefly mentions the, the two-card method, but doesn't really explain it. And so if you're not familiar with the binary system, you might have been confused by that. So that's what I'm going to clarify. But in order to clarify it, I'm actually going to show you what it would be like without that first and then we'll bring the other one in to clarify it you don't need the second card that this one back here you don't need this card to do this trick this card could you could throw it away and not even ever use it um, but you you do need this one and so here's how it would go i want you to imagine a value not a suit just a value ace through king Are you thinking of one let's pretend like they're thinking of um uh, a nine let's say okay so I say to them, look on here. I can look away. I can be in the other room. I can whatever, as long as I can communicate with them. Uh, do you, imagine seeing your value as a club. Um, is it on the card? Do you see it? They'll say yes. Okay, look on there now. Do you see it as a heart? They'll say no. Look on there and do you see it as a spade? They will say no. Look on there and do you see it as a diamond? They will say yes in the case of the nine. And so those yeses and nos is all I need to know to now know they're thinking of a nine. That's all I need to know. That's the binary system. If you don't know that, there's, there's a lot of great resources and he teaches it on here. Okay, that's how you do it with one card. With two cards, uh, let me get the, oops, open it the wrong way. With two cards, 
it would look like this. So remember, this is the card we just used a second ago. So I'd be holding it such a way, I'm trying not to obscure any of the cards. And I would say, think of a number. Um, and again, we'll just stick with nine. Think of a value, Ace or King, without the suit. And you're thinking of a nine. I'll say, okay, now look at these two cards. And I want you to find your card as a club. They're going to look back and forth and they'll eventually find it over here. They don't have to say a word. I just tell them when you find it, stare at it. And so they'll be looking, you know, over like this at this card. And so in my mind, that's a yes. Because remember, before all I was caring about was I need to know the yeses and the noes, right? Uh, and so now let's do it again. Find your card as a heart. Well, it's going to be over here. In fact, it's right there. there so it's going to be over here. So their eyes are going to go over here. Well, that means it's not on this card. So in my head, I'm logging a no. So yes, club, heart is a no. Find it as a spade. Again, they'll be looking over here somewhere right there, in fact. And so again, my head's going no, just based on where their eyeballs are looking. If they're looking over here, I'm thinking no. If they're looking over here, I'm thinking yes. And so rather than saying, tell me yes or no is the club or heart or spade or diamond there, I'm simply saying, Look for the club. If they look here, I think yes. If they look here, I think no. It's that simple. So that is the piece he's sort of left out. Now, if you don't understand the binary system, you may still be confused as to what the heck's going on there. And sorry, I can't expose that. Um, but it's a very clever system. I use it. For, I have several effects that I do that use that, that rely on that principle. I love that principle. So that's uh, product quality. This thing is super well made. The instructions is in, uh, are incredible. And the one piece you're missing, I just gave to you. And, and when you watch the video and you see it, you, you'll know. Um, you'll understand what I just did there. Um, so here's my take on this, guys. Yesterday was a rough day with the... I'm not even going to mention the product because I don't want to start another flame war here. But I reviewed a half-star product yesterday. And it was from a big name and it's from people I like and it's hard. That's hard for me to do that. It's, it's, it's not hard because I mean, it's, I just try to tell the truth. It's hard because it hurts me to, um, you know, it's one thing if you got some just arrogant a-hole that's putting out crap and thinks he's all that versus some really nice people that really do normally put out some pretty good stuff. And then they put that out and it just hurts because I like them and I, but I have to tell the truth. So my subtitle to my website is it's magicreviewed.com, separating the gems from the rubble. My job is to get rid of the rubble, and I got rid of some from it for you yesterday, and find the gems. And I found one for you today, guys. This is five stars. Stone status of gem, capital G, capital E, capital M, exclamation points. So these are the kind of producers that I like to support, you know, that you should like to support. So if there is anything you liked about this, at all and i've pretty much exposed the whole thing there's one little piece i left secret um that i'm not going to tip that it's the part that allows you to um all you need to know is the number they're thinking of to steal out the thing from the notepad you don't even have to know the suit just leave it at that um, so you can be way ahead of them before they've ever even named out loud the suit um you can be way ahead of them and in the written review, I mentioned this idea that you can have the billet stolen without them ever saying the name of their card. And that's where that binary thing comes in. They just look at those cards and you know what they're thinking of now. So literally, they're just having a thought in their head. You're able to steal out the appropriate thing you need to steal out. So anyway, a little tangent there. The point I'm getting at is, guys, if there's anything in the system you like, if you can see any way that you'd use this, I promise, and number one, you're going to be very happy with it. It's extremely well made. But number two, these are the kind of people that, um, you know, this, we often say vote with your wallet, but we say it in a way of like, you know, people are talking about um, Sands Minds a lot, and they say, I'm voting with my wallet. I'm not buying from them anymore. That's great, and I'm, I'm not going to tell you you're right or wrong for doing that. Um, I think most people know my feelings about some of their products and their, their lies that they've put in their advertising. But let's vote with our wallet the other way. Let's, let's, let's pay the guys who are putting out quality products, you know. And so, um, yes, yeah, coming from the guy who gets everything for free, right? Yeah, anyway, 
I'm rambling. Sorry for the tangent there, guys. But uh, I just I like it when people take the time to put out a good quality product. And he really did think of everything. He really put a lot of thought into this. I can tell. So uh, that's it, guys. Five star stone sass of uh, jam with all capital letters and exclamation points. So you know what to do. Click it. Lately, I've been noticing the button isn't always there, and I'm not sure why that is. I thought it was because the advertisers were in the way, but sometimes it doesn't show up on the mobile devices. So, but somehow, if it shows up, click it, thumbs up it, share it, and listen to the random iTunes song of the moment, which is. Oh, I think my eyes are going bad. <laughs> It's only one love in my life by Ronnie Millsap, but for some reason, it looked like dirty one love. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe my brain is in the gutter right now. Sorry about that. Only one love in my life by Ronnie Millsap. Classic, classic country. That's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow, which is day, let's see, I got a little note card somewhere. Day 36, where we will be doing... Psychic CDs by Kyle P. Merck. Until then, thanks for watching. Peace out.